Hey everybody, how you doing? Bob Davis, Canon Explorer of Light. Just got inside from a good workout and I'm excited to kind of share some things from Imaging USA. It's the first trade show I've been to since WPPI pre-COVID 2020. Don and I had a great time there, knock on wood. We came away unscathed, didn't get anything. And we've been skating healthy, healthily ever since. So Imaging USA was a great show. It was wonderful to be back live. I was honored to be in the Canon booth. I am a Canon Explorer of Light. Canon CPS, Professional Services, is like our pit crew. They're outstanding and amazing, keeping my gear up to speed and tip-top shape. And also they have a great loan program. If you shoot Canon and you're not a member of the Canon CPS, Boy, you're really missing out on a, on a great service and a great opportunity. They turn most repairs around within 72 hours. It's, it's just incredible. That's another strong reason to consider a brand is, is the service that backs it up. Well, anyways, I was excited at Imaging and I went around to you know a bunch of our vendors and people that we work with and have partnerships with. And I stopped by my friends at Tether Tools and they were so kind to share some of the new things that they have out. So I thought we could do kind of an unboxing here. So I received this nice uh, care package from the folks at Tether Tools. Thank you, Jessica and Liz. They sent me this box of some really cool things. Now I do, in fact, I was just photographing tethered past couple days and I was using the tether block to keep the cable from jerking out of the side but they've come out with a really great new solution for that so let's kind of dig right into the box here I did open it up already but here's what you can see we've got some goodies in here now I'll, I'll switch the camera back and we'll go through them one at a time and if need be we'll get a nice uh, close-up of them right there so the first thing we got going on is the new tether guard. Uh, you may have been familiar with the jerk stop. Well, this is even better because it plugs into your camera and it is a jerk stop, but it does have a magnetic breakaway. So it does stop things from jerking your camera off of whatever you're working with, the tripod, hand holding it, whatever the case may be. But I'm super excited to use this because <laughs> there were times I'm a klutz with cables, but wireless is just not there. You know, it's not ready for prime time when I'm at an event. There's so much Wi-Fi interference that going point to point, connecting it from the camera to the laptop or iPhone or whatever, always seems to break connection right when you're in front of the client. They're like, look at this and boom, it drops or it's frozen. To reboot the entire process is not just clicking on and off. So in those situations, I'm always going tethered but I have to be careful with cables because I do get in the zone, get rushing, <laughs> and I have pulled it down, thank goodness, for the jerk stop. I've never ruined the port on any of my EOS cameras, but you know I have caught him or my assistant <laughs> has caught the camera before it went over on the tripod. All right, so the jerk stop is great. Uh, another thing that I was excited to get, I know this has been out for a little while, but I haven't had one. And we'll uh, open it up here. Now let's let's get the uh, close up over here really quick. So this is the Tether Tools, and I'm going all USB C into my Mac Pro, but the right angle connection. So that's really going to be helpful again because it's less obtrusive coming out of the side of the camera. So normally when I when I plug the cable in. It plugs in and it has to come out. It's about finger length and then, you know, it's a really thick cable, so you really can't get a good bend in it too tight. And you got the jerk stop in there. Well, when I saw these at the Tether Tool booth, actually in person, um, I requested if I could get one to work with. We got some galas and events coming up and we're gonna be photographing on the red carpet. And it's much, much easier to just shoot tethered in those situations because it's a lot of radio frequency interference. So again, the Wi-Fi just drops. Um, so here we go. As you can see, it's a right angle connector. So pop open the port and then it just boop right into the side here. Get it in. 
and you can see the cable is straight down. It's much cleaner and easier now to add the um, tether guard or your jerk stop or go right into the block without this big loop of cable coming out and down. So that's helpful. It's going to be less obtrusive. And the quality of the tether tool cables is really second to none. Uh, I don't know if you've ever been in a situation where cables go bad. I've been using tether tool cables for a while. I've never had one go bad for video or data. So they're, they're outstanding. I oftentimes run short. This is um, 15 feet, right? Is it? 15 feet on this one. But sometimes I need to get a little bit further back. I like to use a longer lens. So this is um, a 16 foot powered extension so that I can plug in the USB-C into the Tether Pro USB-C core controller, which is here. That'll allow me, so let's get a, another close up of that. So here you go, there it is. Plug the other end of the USB-C into there. It gives it the power. And then they have this cool little device which locks it together. So you're not accidentally going to pull out the extension of the cable. So really useful for on location tethering or in the studio for that matter. And then another thing that they came out with are these filmmaker lighting kits. So I saw these in the booth and I started playing with them. In fact, they were doing a shooting demo you know, and they were mixing flash and these continuous lights. So it turned into a mini lighting lab in the tether, tether Tools booth with one of their reps. But what's really cool is these lights are going to be great for photographing details in and out. It's, you know, I do use speed lights, but sometimes I've got my speed lights set up in the room when the bride is going to make the reveal and I'm simultaneously photographing the details happening. Well, with these continuous lights, I can kill two birds with one stone, so to speak, have my lights ready for the reveal and those other things and use these small guys for all kinds of details. So this is the filmmaker kit. And the reason I wanted the filmmaker kit is because we get RGB lights, red, green, and blue, make up any color combination of that. And then you get white lights and they are bendable. So I don't know if these are charged up yet. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. But let's pop one out and see. And once I uh, get a lighting demo of this, I'm gonna. I actually have to photograph some printed materials. So I'm gonna use these for those details. So be careful. No trips to the emergency room. Unbox this puppy. Let's see if it has a charge on it. Sometimes things ship charge, sometimes they don't. But you could use these in the background as bokeh or bokeh, however you want to say it. But they do bend, right? Completely bendable, shapeable. And you could get that light in the background if you wanted to light up a champagne glass. If you wanted the bokeh balls in the background, you could do that as well. So let's see, is there any juice in this? Holding down the power button. No juice. Okay, but we'll charge them up and I'll come back and we'll do a short little lighting demo and share some photographs. These are going to be a lot of fun. And then if you're, you know, wanting to use, um, light is light, right? So the character of light lends itself to the subject. And I let the subject dictate to me what character of light I'm going to use. It's kind of like my paintbrush. So they do make a bracket that comes with where you could stack three of these together. And now you could use this as a light panel off to the side, or you could put them right in the hot shoe if you're gonna run a video clip. I mean, there's just tons and tons of uses for these high quality LED lights. Just, just so cool, I'm just excited. Light gets me excited, I'm a seeker of light. Speaking of light, um, let's see if I can pull this up right. Just learning all this stuff here. No, no. That one, uh, we have lighting classes that happen to be on Kelby One. So if you want to brush up on your lighting skills, you know, take it to the next level before the season starts or as a refresher, 
because so many people get a little bit dusty in the off season. Well, here you go. Go to Kelby One and, and search for Bob Davis and you'll see I've got three lighting lessons. One of them is very detailed. You're on a wedding day with me. I'm going to take you through the entire process. A lot of people ask, do I really shoot with all those lights on location? And the question and answer is definitely a big yes. So I roll in heavy. I bring a lot of light because, you know, as I learned and I tell this story often, can't say it enough, you can't publish an excuse. My picture editor, Bob Katalik, who hired me at the Chicago Sun-Times, gave me my first assignment and said, kid, come back with a good picture or don't come back at all. And he was holding on to the assignment slip and, and he said, I mean it. We can't publish an excuse. And that's resonated with me ever since. Your client doesn't want to hear it was dark. Your client doesn't want to hear, oh, the light was all orange and I can't color correct it. Come on, people. Master your craft. Today, with digital cameras, you get a freaking live preview with any mirrorless camera that you're photographing in. So what you see is what you get. You know, you could pop the histogram on right inside the LCD or the EVF. You could dial in the color you want. You could see if you want to get creative with color. You could watch your flesh tones. Remember, it's what you see is what you get. So there is no excuse for poor color and poor exposure these days. You know, I know it's a struggle, but learn that technology. You need to know your tools inside and out. Thereby, you can operate it uh, in an automatic fashion so the gear gets out of the way. So I will get back to you guys after I've had a chance to test out all these uh, amazing tools from Tether Tools. I'll start charging up the lights. So these are the lights. And I got the Filmmaker Kit because it's going to be the most useful for my needs and goals. But they sell them in many different configurations. In fact, you can even see here, it's on the bracket. So you could put three of them together as a nice light bar. They're bendable, flexible. You could get the light where you want it. So if you guys ever have any questions, feel free to ping me on social media. Uh, we are Bob and Dawn Davis everywhere. I'm Bob and Don Davis on Instagram and Bob and Don Davis in the wild. So I uh, just can't, you know, say thank you enough to all the people that believe in us and give us the opportunity to share the light. So I just want to say we do have a, a B&H page now. So just wanted to share. Here's our b &H page and uh, did it, where's, the, where's my logo? There's my logo. Why is it in the back? It's unlocked. Let's see. Let's figure this out. Get it? Where did it go? No, nope. I'm still learning how to switch all this stuff. Oh, no, here it is. b photocom right here. So check that out. Um, this is an affiliate link. We do earn credit and a little bit from it, but that enables us to keep going with all this content that I love to share. So I am grateful to Canon. I'm grateful to Westcott. I'm uh, totally, totally grateful to the people that believe in us. Here, let me stop talking here so I can turn these off, get my switcher going. I need a director in here. Uh, there we go, this camera. So again, thank you Tether Tools for the opportunity of playing with all these toys. Thank you, Jessica and Liz at Tether Tools. Thanks, Canon, for having me at Imaging USA. I'm excited. We're going to be at WPPI. So I'm going to be there doing stitch and pan portraits and using speed lights to light the scene. It's really cool. If you haven't done stitch and pan pro portraits, you got to come and share the light. It's a great way for creating a different field of view, like a lens format that's never been shot with before, or high megapixel file or greater dynamic range in detail. So stop by at WPPI and I will share the light. Again, thanks Tether Tools. Thank you Westcott. Thank you B&H. Um, boy, just, we are so blessed. Thank you everybody for tuning in and I will catch you guys later.